Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I'm talking about one of my favorite things, and that is Disneyland prep. Specifically, I'm gonna share what I take in my Disneyland diaper bag. Now I made a video about this a while ago, but things have changed. I have a new bag, and I have older kids, so let me show you what's in my park bag. Okay guys, I had to take that hat off because I think it was making a weird shadow on my face. But before we get started, I want you to keep in mind that when we do Disney, we kind of do it like locals. We are from Northern California and we have annual passes. So we go quite often and we've learned a lot throughout the years. We know that we don't have to bring everything. We know where to get emergency supplies if we need them and our kids are getting older. Also for this trip, we're going in a time where it's probably going to rain. We're not going during the summer heat where we need all of that stuff, so keep that in mind. And even though this is specific to Disneyland, I think a lot of these ideas will also work for other theme parks and even Disney World. Okay guys, so before I show you what goes inside the diaper bag, I thought I would give you a closer look of the bag itself. Now I got this one at Walmart and it was about $24, so it's not very expensive. And the brand is Banana Fish. And I really like the style for Disneyland because it has the backpack strap option, which was important to me, especially when you're going through security or going on trams and buses. Because usually I have to hold a child as well. I really like the backpack option. Also what's good about this one is that it's wipeable as well. So if anything gets spilled on there, I just wipe it right off. Now this actually has nine different pockets. And it's kind of unique that this diaper bag actually opens up to the front. So it's like this. Just like that. We have two front pockets and on the interior I have one pocket here, a big section in the center, two pockets here, one in the back, and I also have two side pockets and then I have one flap in the back. Now there are a few things that don't fit in my backpack that I like to keep in the stroller as well, so I'll go ahead and show you those too. Now when I'm packing my diaper bag, I try to keep in mind that I have to go through security, so I want to make it easy for them to check my bag, but I also want to keep things that I'm going to need frequently in the exterior pockets, and things that I don't need very often on the inside. Now in this back flap, I like to keep my quick diaper change pack. Now this actually came with my last diaper bag, which sadly I had to get rid of because it was getting too worn, but basically you just open it up like this, and it has a nice, large, waterproof changing pad, so you can change a diaper anywhere. And then in the back here, I have room for just a couple of diapers and a wipe case, just like that. So I can very quickly grab this out when I'm going to change a diaper, or my husband can as well, so we don't have to take the whole diaper bag every time we need to change a diaper. Next to that, I have a big thing of Kleenex. This has an easy open flap like this. Now we have a lot of people in the family, so I like to have this bigger size Kleenex. And what I like about this one is that it has this snap just like this. So I can actually, if I need to, if we're needing a lot of Kleenex, take this out and wrap it around the handle of my stroller, and it can actually hang from my stroller. So it's always nice to have some other options. I'm also carrying some antibacterial wipes. These are the ones with no harsh chemicals from Huggies, I like those. And I also have some boogie wipes, and you know what those are for. So all of these things are nice and handy because I might need to grab them quickly. Now in this very front pocket, it's not very large, so I only keep one thing in there, and that is my lanyard. Now unlike Disney World, Disneyland, we do not have the magic bands at all. You still have everything on either a paper ticket or an annual pass, which I keep in here. And we also have paper fast pass reminders that I keep in there. So I'm actually in charge of everyone's annual pass while we're there, and I wear it around my neck. So I'll also put my ID in there, I'll put my credit card in there, and I actually am not gonna bring my wallet at all, just this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the diaper bag for now, and as soon as we get there, I'll pull it out and I will wear it. 
In this next section, I keep some of our fun items while we're at Disneyland, also towards the front, so I can grab them quickly if I need to. First, I have our pressed coin collection book. Now, all of my kids actually share this one, so it's kind of nice that I don't need to have three of them, and we just started our collection, so that's gonna go in there. I also have some glow wands. Now, each day of the trip, I will stick a different little activity in there. So sometimes I might put bubbles in there, something to color. I have different glow wands and things like that. So every day I put in something different. I also have two of our autograph books. One went missing, I'm not sure where it is. And I will need to buy a new pen. We have those in there. And then finally, of course, I have a fidget spinner. Just in case we have any meltdowns and I need to easily and quickly distract somebody, this is the perfect way to do it. That goes right in there. Now moving on to the exterior pockets. Now these are meant for bottles, but we don't actually have any um, kids that have bottles these days. And for our water bottles, we actually like to store those in the underneath basket of our stroller. We have a big double stroller and it can carry a lot. So I don't need to carry everything in my diaper bag. So down in this pocket, I'm actually going to put these little tubes. These tubes are were originally holding mini M&Ms, but I took those out and put pennies and quarters instead because all of the kids like to do pressed pennies now. So we have some for Jackson, we have some for Lily, some for Mackenzie. So we can easily get to those whenever we're passing by a penny machine and they want to do one. It'll be nice and easy to grab these out. Now in this side, I'm actually gonna be keeping my sunscreen, and this is actually hand sanitizer, but it comes in a foam. I get this at Bath & Body Works and it smells so good. It's just like that. And it's really easy to do the foam versus the gel, especially for my kids. Now when we go to Disneyland this time, it's probably going to be rainy almost the whole time, but I am gonna pack some sunscreen just in case. So I'm gonna fit both of these down in the side. Now moving on to the largest section of the diaper bag. Like I said, this opens outward, so it's a little bit different. You can already see right back here, I have diapers for Griffin. And then over here, I just have a few pull-ups for Lily, just in case she has an accident, I have some backups. Now I'm not gonna be packing a lot of clothes this time because we are staying at the Grand Legacy, which is literally a five minute walk just right across the street from Disneyland. So if we need to change clothes, we can easily do that. But for Griffin, my toddler, I will pack just one shirt and a little pair of pants, just in case. Because if anybody's going to need a clothing change, it's most likely going to be him. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those right down in there. And then right next to that, I'm gonna put his little bib. This is a really cute, wipeable, Mickey Mouse one, and I just keep it nice and tidy like that. So that's gonna go right down in there. And then in the middle, I like to put these clear bags, just like you might use when you go through security at the airport. Now, Disneyland does not require that you do this. You don't have to have a clear bag, but I've noticed the last couple of times when I'm there that they're really tightening down on security. They really wanna see what's inside every single pocket of your bag and every single little pocket. For instance, the last couple of times I was there, they even asked me to open up my wallet to see what's inside there. So I decided to make going through security nice and easy to go ahead and pack everything in these clear bags. That way they can easily take a look through my bag without having to rummage through it for very long. So I'll go ahead and show you what's in each of these bags. This first one, the red one, is sort of my first aid bag. I have Band-Aids in there, alcohol wipes, I have Tylenol, nasal spray, I have Benadryl cream in case we have bug bites, I have vitamin C, cough drops, and I also have our most frequently used medicines things like Pepto-Bismol, Dramamine, allergy medicine, and things like that. Now in this one, I kind of have everything else. I have some gum and some hand lotion. I have some floss. I have a little Tide to go stain in case we have any spills. I have several different things for lips, like chapstick, because I always seem to lose one of them. 
I also have some contact solution in case my eyes get dry. I do wear contacts. And then right here I have this little, this is kind of like a Neosporin, but it's the doTERRA version. Now you'll notice I have a lot of things for dryness here, nasal spray and eye drops because every time we go down to LA it's really dry compared to where we're from. So we often need things like that. Now in this bag, this is sort of my tech bag. So in here I have my big charger. Now this is really big and very heavy, but I still wanna bring it because it can actually charge three things at once. So my phone and my husband's phone and my camera all at once and it's super fast, like really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that. I also have several charging cords. I have a pen just in case. And then right here I have some lens or some screen cleaning wipes for the phone and the camera if I need them. And finally I have a backup battery and I'm bringing this one because it has a flashlight. You just never know when you might need a flashlight. Now this bag is sort of the hair care bag. I have a hairspray, an extra hair bow, a brush, a comb, and it's kind of hard to tell, but I have several bobby pins and elastics for the girl's hair. So here's a closer look at the inside, so you can kind of see exactly how I fit everything in there. Definitely this is full. I don't think I can fit much else. Maybe something right here if I absolutely needed to. But like I said, we have a double stroller, so a lot of things fit in there as well. Let me show you what I plan on putting in there. Now in the bottom of our stroller, I like to keep our small ice chest. And we like to bring our lunch and drinks and put them in there. And also if I need to bring any coats, they will go under the stroller as well. Now behind each of the seats of the stroller, I also have two more compartments. So here's what I like to put in there. First up, I have my little tripod. Now I have to tell you that Disney does not let you bring a selfie stick. Anything that telescopes up is not allowed and they will totally take it from you. But this is fine, I've taken this before, they don't have a problem with these yet. And then I also have another bag. This is just a gallon Ziploc bag and I like a clear bag so security can see what's inside because they will check the strollers as well, which they should, they're very thorough at security. But in here I have everything that we might need, like ponchos, extra gloves, and I even have a little umbrella. Now the very last thing we keep in the stroller is our Mickey bubble wand which reminds me I'll have to buy more bubbles once we get there. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what are your must-haves when you visit the theme park because I'm always looking for more ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.